Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So as you can tell by the title, it is going to be some plant mail unboxing from Etsy. And this particular package is from, I believe they are called the Hoya, the Hoya House. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to look it up and definitely insert it on the screen if I got it wrong. But yeah, so I was just browsing like I always do on Etsy and before I went to bed one night I ordered four Hoyas. So I just wanted to share my little unboxing with you all and shout out this shop because I think their prices are very decent like very decent like very good prices and the amount of plant you get for the price is like top notch okay. I feel like this might be my new Hoya plug because you just can't beat the prices for the amount of plant you get you know what I'm saying. So I'm just gonna keep talking as I start opening up this box. Here is my box and I have been waiting all day for this. I was prepared for this today as you can tell. Also um, before we get too much further into this video what do you guys think of my eyebrows today? I'm not sure if you can really tell because I do have my glasses on. My eyes would not stop watering with my contacts in so I was like I just can't do contacts today. I need glasses on but if you do like my eyebrows today for all my makeup lovers out there or you know whatever and you do want to know how I achieved this like eyebrow look and got them as even as I did which I feel like I never get them this even definitely check out eye method I used their brow pencil that they sent to me hi Silas can I help you go with brother go play with brother can you call Silas Silas. bye bye so huge thank you to iMethod for sending out this brow stamp kit. I think it worked so well. So I practiced with it a little bit beforehand just so I kind of knew what I was doing with it. And I did get them a little uneven the first time, but then the second time I did it, you guys, I swear I got them perfectly even. And I love this stamp kit so much because... That is like the hardest part for me is getting my brows even. They are two different shapes. So with this brow stamp, you literally just take it and flip it over from one eyebrow to the next. It is so simple, you guys. So easy. And I definitely highly recommend you check them out if you are interested in spicing up your makeup routine a little bit or anything. Any tools to help me out with my makeup and anything that can help it go by faster, I am here for. So yeah. So I actually, I kind of want to try out their eyeliner stamp as well. I know they have one of those and I feel like that might be a game changer with me for eyeliner because you might not think I struggle but I struggle with my eyeliner you guys especially getting it even and looking the same on both sides so yeah anyways if you guys did want to check them out I will have all their information linked down below so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this box of Hoyas here's how it comes packaged a bunch of floof which is nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, so here is Hoya number one. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, this is the Hoya Aurichii. Aurichii, I'm not sure how to say it, but I actually did have one of these, I believe, and it was a tiny little, like, two leaf cutting with a like gro growth point coming off of it and I actually was doing so well with it in my prop box but then I decided to pot it up because I was like I want to play with my plants and I, it was ready to be potted up it just did not like the pot I put it in which was terracotta and I don't know it just dried out way too fast you guys I couldn't keep up with watering it and I think that I might have killed it by allowing the roots to dry out a little too much and then watering it and it kind of it was not happy with me so I lost all of the new growth on that Hoya and eventually the entire Hoya just died so that sucks so I had to replace it and this plant I believe was like $20 more than the little like one cutting that I had gotten so it just made sense to me in my mind okay it just made sense so yeah this one this one looks so good you guys and it's like big juicy leaves they're not thick leaves I will say that like they don't feel super thick um but yeah I just love how every single Hoya in their shop has like all this phenomenal growth to it you got a lot of bang for your buck okay and with Hoyas normally you see people giving one node two node cuttings which I totally understand Hoyas are definitely on the pricier side especially when you start gravitating to the more uncommon ones but you know it's just it's really awesome to already have a nice full established plant all right moving on to the next one 
Oh my gosh. Okay, this one looks so good. So basically what I did was get a whole bunch of replacement plants that I might have killed. So yeah, here is another replacement plant that I killed. I actually got one at a plant swap and it was so much smaller. I did not know these leaves actually got this big. Like this is probably the size of a nickel, maybe even a quarter. This is the Hoya Cumingiana. Cumingiana, Cumingiana, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but oh my God, it's so cute. Look at it. Oh my God, that is so perfect. Oh my gosh, mine was so much tinier than that. But it was like still a nice established cutting, but once again, I repotted it and whatever happened, happened. And it didn't make it. Oh my god, I forgot I got this one. I'm gonna save that one for last, I think. Ah, okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, I will say, <laughs> all of the um, orchid bark stuff is like falling out from the top a little bit, but it's not like, it's not too crazy, so... Alright, what is this one? I forgot. All the ones I got because the names is hard to remember. This one is the Verticulata Heart Shape Splash. Oh my god, I did not realize this Hoya leaves were so freaking big. Okay, I really thought this was going to be a much smaller Hoya, but this reminds me of the Hoya Sarawak, and if you guys have seen that one, then you know that one can get big. Like, these leaves are nowhere near as big as I've seen the Sarawak leaves, but this, it just reminds me of that in the shape, okay? But I got this because I love, like, heart-shaped leaves and foliage like that, and I just thought this one was perfect. And also, look at all of the um roots and stuff coming off these guys like what these plants are just so established living their best life and you guys so i reached out to the seller because i wanted to know like what type of conditions these plants were in and they told me that they were literally in like normal everyday environment they are actually in their basement they said but it's like out in the open so i was like oh my gosh this is perfect i don't even have to put these plants in like a prop box or anything Honestly, guys, I feel like these probably have a really nice established root system right now, and I could probably repot these. I know what you're thinking, ma'am, didn't you just talk about repotting your Hoyas too soon and you killed them, blah, blah, blah. But these are, like, such full established plants. These are not cuttings, you know what I'm saying? Like, these have already been established from a cutting if that's where they came from. So, yeah, I think that these would do well being potted up, honestly. So, if I do that... I'll definitely, you know, let you guys know in a future video how they are doing and all that, but I don't think I'm going to be repotting them up in this video. I have a lot to do today, and I, I don't have time. I'm just going to save the repotting for, like, one night. I have some time to myself. Oh my gosh, this one I could not say no to. I can't believe I now have this in my collection. I'm shook. The variegated obovata. You guys, what? What? I got a variegated obovata? Oh my god, look how beautiful it is too! And is that a peduncle? It might have flowered before, you guys. So right down here, looks like it um, flowered. Sorry if my fingernails look a little crusty, ignore that. But this is so perfect. Yes, you guys, look, roots are growing out of the bottom of the pot. So I know that a lot of these guys, probably all four of these guys can be repotted a lot like I got four like I got a, a whole lot <laughs> like I got like 10 cuttings or something so I know that these guys are probably ready to be repotted because they got roots growing out the bottom anyways that completes this little unboxing I know it was a pretty short video but I wanted to share the Hoyas with you guys I have been so excited about this plant mail and I'm super duper excited. I actually have some more plant mail coming in. I'm not sure. Should I include it in this video or not? You know what, you guys? I'm going to be back when I have another unboxing because I actually bought some more plants. <laughs> and I blame Holly, okay? Holly, Miss Ma'am, you know who you are. She knows what she did. <laughs> we were talking about plants, wishlist plants or something, and I mentioned a Florida ghost. Oh, yeah, heads up. I bought a Florida ghost. But she was like... Oh my god, the, I forget what the shop name is, like, off the top of my head right now, but so-and-so shop is literally having a sale right now, or selling plants, whatever, I don't know if they were on sale, but she was like, there's a Florida ghost for, like, a hella great price, you need to jump on it right now, so I went to the website, you guys, and originally my cart had, like, five plants in it, and by the time I got to the checkout, they were sold out, not all of them, 
But anyways, I managed to snag two more plants, so I'm going to include that in this video, so stay tuned for that. I'm still waiting on it to come in the mail, but you guys won't have to wait, obviously. I'll see you when I get it. Look, all I'm going to say is, Holly, I blame you for this one, Miss Lady Ma'am. Um, yeah, if my husband finds out about this box, I'm going to just send him your way, and you're in trouble because <laughs> this was not supposed to happen. You guys, so me and my girl Holly were just chitty chatting on the Instagram and I don't even know how it came about, but some way, somehow I said I wanted a Florida ghost. Maybe we were talking about a plant trade. I don't know, girl. What were we talking about? Remind me. And I said something about I want a Florida ghost really bad, blah, blah, blah. And I've been looking for one that won't break the bank, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh my God, check out the Philoden. She's literally having a sale right now. And she's got a freaking Florida ghost for such a great price. And I was like, okay, fine. Let me go look. Oh my God, I got stickers. And they are the fucking cutest stickers. Oh my God, stop it. Let me finish my story. So anyways, I head over to the website and I was shook. I was like, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. And you guys, I only ended up with two plants. <laughs> um, I wasn't fast enough for one of them. And then I was like, one of the other ones, I was like, okay, I don't want that one as bad. I really shouldn't even spend this money right now. Um, like this was not supposed to happen. Oh my God. Okay, hold up because this packaging is unreal. I'm obsessed. Stop it right now. 10 out of 10. I think this is the best so far. <laughs> the best like packaging from a plant shop that I have ever got. I ended up with just two plants. I was going to get a third, but I had no idea how to care for it. I don't even know what this plant was. I don't I couldn't even tell you what it was now. The name is so unfamiliar to me, so I was like maybe I should just hold off on that one because I might kill it, right? So anyways, I got two others that I have been wanting. I only remember one. What was the other one that I got? Oh yeah. You already know I've been collecting a certain genus, so I got one of them too. Anyways, let me just go ahead and show you guys everything that just came in the top of the box. So first of all, you get this super freaking gorgeous detailed plant care card. Like, the leaves, everything, the colors, it's like a wa- Oh, I got the hiccups. It's like a watercolor. Oh my god, I love it so much. And then you get a card. And this isn't like, I don't think this is a card. She hasn't written on it. So this is like a card for you to like use and give to somebody else. But like, um, one of my toxic traits is I keep stuff like this to just hold on to forever and never use. And just reminisce on how gorgeous it is. Anybody else relate? Let me know in the comments. And then stickers. Four stickers. Oh my god, I'm going to have to show you them all individually. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, this isn't a sticker. JK. So this is her actual card, but still, I'm keeping it because it's so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? And then these two stickers. Okay, I gotta show you one at a time or they blur out. And then this is her shop name, The Philoden, also on Instagram, The Philoden. All right, let's get into the plants. So, yes, I did purchase these plants, obviously, with my own money. With my own husband's money. <laughs> and, no, I'm just kidding, guys. I have my own little side hustles. I use my own money. That's what I like to call it anyways. So, here is the first plant, and... I love how this is packaged. I want to be as careful as I can so I don't rip any foliage. Oh my god. And these are established plants, you guys. So, you already know. I already told you one of them. I got me a Florida ghost. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Hey, Sebastian, can you go let Storm in? She is panting outside. I have come across sellers that were, you know, selling plants of this size and they were like for you know way more and I just I couldn't justify it for myself you know so you guys if you haven't found a plant that you know you want in a good price range don't break the bank 
don't splurge right away it is so much more fun to get a plant when you are it is more of a comfortable price range for your budget and I don't know it just it just feels more rewarding and just waiting I have learned that the hard way I will say I have not always been this way okay so anyways oh it's got another leaf coming in and I think I did see this in the photo so I did know it had another one coming in okay so my philodendron Florida ghost how gorgeous you guys oh my god I cannot freaking wait to just watch this one grow humidity they like humidity I am going to be sticking these most likely in my um, prop box containers that I have they're, they're all next to me you guys can't see it but you guys know what I'm talking about if you have been following along my journey so the next one I got wow okay I didn't realize these plants were so big this plant mail that I've got recently that you know I've purchased with my own money like it has just been so satisfying being able to find such established plants at a good affordable price range that I am more comfortable paying and it won't make me you know worry as much for you know upcoming bills or anything like that anyways I'm just rambling let me get this open all right guys another syngonium to add to my collection and I don't think I have this one if I do this is just a more mature version I guess but this is the syngonium potophyllum potophyllum I don't know how to say that and the leaves they have been in shipment so they aren't all spread out like they normally are but they will they will but you guys know I have been trying to add syngonium to my collection and this was such a great price for such an established plant I could not say no I am just checking for pests now because I have like if I do this I swear you guys I look funny I don't really care but when I do that you guys it's like a whole magnifying glass that I'm using <laughs> when I look above my glasses because I'm very nearsighted anyways syngonium potif potophyllum I don't know how to say it I'll put it on the screen how cute how pretty and we have a new leaf coming in there it does look like it got a little bit bruised no big deal I'm not worried about it you guys syngonium are just super easy and yeah and she packaged it so well like with the paper towel and the tape on top I love that and you know that's actually a great idea and I might use this because I've always wondered how am I gonna package like really big soiled plants without using so much of the polyfill I don't like sticking tape to that necessarily because it's hard to get off and all that so yeah this is this is a good idea girl but anyways um I just have to take that off you know that's how the plant looks it looks great everywhere else I also love these little clear containers but that is going to complete this video I hope you guys did enjoy these two unboxings the first one was from the Hoya house on Etsy and then the second was from the Philoden and I believe that is an actual website you guys not on Etsy so I will have all of their information linked down below as well as their Instagram so you can definitely check them out go support them and thank you so much for watching this video give it a big thumbs up if you like the plants that I got if you like plant mail and if you're enjoying hanging out with me and thank you so much for being here on my channel i'll see you guys in the next video bye